I think what we did was in spite of drugs. The drugs were in the culture long before they reached the public. The jazz musicians have been the forefront of the language that's used now, the drugs that's used now. The whole attitude of the 80s comes from the 40s. It started to manifest itself in the 60s. funny story about drugs. We played at the Holyoke Arena with Woody Herman's band on an afternoon concert, nine acts of vaudeville, you know, and they had on it a trained bear. And the trained bear came up, and this was a big bear. I mean, this guy had to be nine feet or something, you know. And it was afternoon, Holyoke Arena, and uh, the bear came out, and the two on each side of Sam Marowitz, the lead alto player, who was very straight-laced, no drugs, no drinking, were Serge, Suit, Al Cohen, and I, stoned. And the bear was doing his thing with the trainer, coming around his arm, going, and at one point, the bear came around and his arm went over the saxophone section like this. I could have killed five guys with one sword. Only Sam Marowitz had to duck because the rest of us were sitting there reading the music for the bear and so stoned, we never knew the bear came over us. <laughs> and they used to claim that Woody's band were f***s because we were so stoned we didn't even care to go for the women. And they were no f***s. So on that band, I mean, jazz music is a man's game, let's face it. Even when you were so much involved with both drugs and alcohol, you, you played well. We played well all the time. You can do anything with practice. I'm sure we could have played better if we weren't. I'm a recovered alcoholic. I don't do anything anymore. But those things, uh, those things take away, I mean, you, you're a different personality, completely. I mean, when you take those, for, for those that are really chemically dependent on anything, it's not you. And of course, I've done some dastardly things, but what can I do except to make amends and apologize? And since I stopped drinking, which is almost a year ago, I'm starting to feel like I'm a member of the world. I never was. I was so f***ed up all my life. I had a 10-year heroin habit and kicked that. And then I became an alcoholic. I drank two-fifths a day. What finally triggered, you know, that's this person? It's just like they say in Alcoholics Anonymous. I was either and or going insane or was going to die. I was one of those guys who was in constant denial. Look, I work, I do my job, I support my fam, boom, you know, I do everything I'm supposed to do. If I want to drink, f you, I'll drink, you know? It's a disease, and I, it took me that long, it took me 45 years from the time I was 15 till I was now, and I just wouldn't believe it. I could drink, you know? I get up there and play, and I don't remember most of my records. I don't remember making. but I never truly enjoy uh, too much of me because I feel like I'm a working musician. There are some joyous moments, but I will not think a joyous moment. And hearing myself so much all the time, I don't think I sound that special all the time, because it's me. Do you get tired of uh, being a musician at all, or at times when... The day that I think I've got it down, maybe I will. Yeah. Till then, no, it's different every night. Thank you.